Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Hey, do you have a recliner in your RV? Have you ever hand, have the handle break off? I have. Pull the handle, think I'm going to relax, and boom, and there's the plastic handle in my hand and the chair didn't do anything. So I've replaced these cables before. I tell you, it's frustrating. They go bad every once in a while. They don't last a real long time. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to replace that cable uh, on your recliner. So the, the part is universal. You can get them on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. And I'll put the link for the part in the description below. And you only need a few basic tools to accomplish the task. A pair of pliers, Phillips screwdriver, and that's really pretty much it. And I'm gonna show you how to replace that cable. So it's, it's easy and it doesn't take very long to do. All right, so let's get right down to it and get that chair fixed. So now, first step, so now both of our chairs, the cables broke. So, and they're opposite each other so uh, the, the one, the cable handle comes over here and this one is on the opposite side, here. So I've done this before and I did some changes to the cable when it broke again. These cables that I got the last time were extra long, they were 44 inches. And so I was able to do this but now the cables all bunched up inside I had to go with 36 and a half inch which seems to be what they all are out there 36 and a half so I'm hoping the 36 and a half inch fits uh, we will find out so I'm gonna have to pull this chair out So here's the cable. And I just disconnected off of the release. Let's see if we can get a better angle at this. And then the cable runs all the way up alongside there. All right. Now they, uh, here I'll show you the part. It's easier to show you on the replacement part. Here's the new part. And then the handle. So, this cable, always breaks right at the handle and so there's a plastic piece that looks just like this down in here and uh, it is no fun trying to get at it because it's held in with uh, four Phillips screws all right so this is the release mechanism. This is the cable coming from the handle up top. So there's tension there. This is the release. And the cable attaches to it with an S connection there. Alright, so we're going to manually release the seat. Okay. Remove the cable. There we go. This clips in here onto the frame, so we're going to release that. A pair of pliers, and we can. Uh, and maybe. There's the screws right there. We're just gonna unscrew that. We'll loosen up the bottom and make it easier. All right, so I just 
had removed the screws from along the top bar here so I could push the seat bottom up a little bit to give me clearance in here. Made things a lot easier. You can remove the whole bottom if you want. There's some more screws down at the bottom and remove the whole bottom. So. too much force on the seat bottom where you could break the wood pieces. Come on out of there. There's two screws. Well, oh, that's it. There, there was only two. <laughs> All right. Now I just got to feed this. New cable. All right, I'm gonna screw that in place. But I think this should be good enough. So I get the new handle in place here. Screw holes all lined up. And now it's just a matter of screwing them back in. holes it actually works best out of there the top the top hole just just like that it's an S pull that back a lot easier to do this when the seat is already released this way there's no tension snap this into position on the frame get that tucked in out of the way okay Looks good, should work. So now we'll put the screws back in on the front part of the seat. So it just gave me enough room to move the seat bottom out of the way, the screws on the handle. Makes life a lot easier. Got a little tip. So you can't flex that bottom too much. There's flimsy wood frame. You could break it, so you just gotta be careful. So you use it to move it about an inch or two. Moment of truth. Yeah. Success. 
Will it work two times in a row? <laughs> yes. Works good. Alright. That's it for today. Until next time, happy camping. Bye.